Hey YouTube, I was asked by Miss Bunny Rabbit One to do a tutorial using the Naked 2 palette. She says she had just purchased one. I know it's been a couple of weeks and I apologize that it's been taken, that it took me so long to um, do the tutorial, but this is the look that I came up with. And if you want to see how it was done, keep watching. Bye. Okay, so for the sake of time, I have already put on a little bit of concealer, mineralized skin finish, and dark on my face. No um, foundation today. Um, I have put on, I have used the um, It Cosmetics Brow Power Brow Pencil just to fill in my brows a little bit. Um, what I'm going to do now is just grab the Urban Decay sample of the eyeshadow primer and put some primer on my lids just a little bit and my lids are a little red right now because I just took some shadow off I didn't like the way it was applying so I took it off I am going to use just a tart brush that I have. I think it might be a concealer brush, but I have never used it for concealer. I always use it for um, cream eyeliner. And I am going to use the Maybelline Color Tattoos in Bad to the Bronze as a base. And I'm going to put that all on my lid and try to stay up under the crease. And you'll see me looking down, but that's because I have my mirror right up under the camera. And I have used these Maybelline color tattoos in different ways. I've used them on their own. I've used them as bases. And I like them, but my sister wants me to do a review, so I will save that. I think I did stay up under it. What is that? It's always good to have. I think that's dry skin, honestly. My skin is really, really dry today. I don't know if it's because it's been cool outside. Um, with that done, the colors that I am going to use today. Sorry, I know you're not supposed to blow in your palette. But the colors that I'm going to use today is Half Baked, which is here. I'm going to use um, Snake Bite, which is here, and then Busted. So I'm just going to take a little shader brush that I have from Sigma, and I'm going to start off with Half Baked, and that'll go in like the inner third of my eyelid. I sometimes go up in here just to make that look a little lighter. I think I tend to be a little dark right there sometimes. Don't know, just my observation. So this is the half baked. And then I will go with the snake bite on like the middle of the lid. Well, the majority of the lid, what's left. So we'll start here and just go over that way. And I'm using the same brush. Even my eyelids seem a little dry to me today. I 
I'm going to go back into half bait and just kind of um, blend the two. I hope you can see the difference in the two. Somehow to me on camera it's looking like it's the same thing. Alrighty, this is going to be a one brush tutorial because I'm going to use the same brush and just go right on the corner, sort of outer V and just kind of darken it up just a little bit with the busted. Okay, for some reason my camera decided they wanted to stop recording on its own. I'm trying to make sure I'm focused here. But I was still putting the um, snake bite on the outer corner of the eye. And I'm feeling like I'm looking a little. Maybe I should. There you go. So that is the snake bite. I should just be a little closer to my camera here. And I am going to use one more color here and hope that this comes out like I want it. And that will be the T's, which is right here. Just as like a, a blending color I'm going to use. I just look, it's looking a little too cool for my skin, which is why I have never used it. But we will see. I'm just using a blending brush from Sigma and just kind of blending this darker color here in and putting a little bit of color in my crease and it looks okay it's still a little bit cool for my taste I usually use the original naked palette I come to this one every now and again but the original is actually my favorite one And we are going to take my makeup wipe and just kind of clean up the corners. I kind of went outside of the lines. So I'm just going to wipe that off a bit. Ooh, now it looks red and irritated, but it'll be okay later on. Um, I am going to go to this color. Which one do I want to do? I will go to this color here, which is Booty Call, and use that as a highlight. And I'll just use an angled brush to do that. Then I'm going to use my blending brush again and kind of blend that out a little bit so it's not so stark light. And this is one of my sort of everyday looks, not really, really dramatic, just something I wear every day to work. Probably it's not the most interesting, but I usually use these naked palettes work because I don't like to do a whole lot of color um, what I will do is 
Okay, so I'm having camera difficulty today and what I was saying is what I am going to do now is to use one more item. It's not from Urban Decay, but it is the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. And I did a haul waiting for my son to put that video up. But um, this is one of the things I bought when I was in Georgia a few weeks ago and I like it. So I'm just going to put eyeliner on the top lid not under the eye at all because on a regular basis I don't usually put eyeliner on the um, lower lash line so I am going to just fill it in just a little bit no cat eye or anything just a little bit of liner on the lid And I like this pencil because I'm not good with eyeliner and I can just lay it to the side and just pull it across. And I can get a pretty decent line, pretty straight doing it that way. Alright, so this is like nothing really dramatic, just something for daytime for me. And why does my voice keep going up at the end of everything I'm saying? I don't know. Anyway, last step is I will put on my favorite mascara, which is the Marley Volumizing Mascara. It's probably time to kind of um, switch this one out. It's getting kind of dry. And I remembered to put my contacts on this time so I can see what I'm actually doing. And I got a little bit on my face. Alrighty, um, I feel like I'm so out of focus here. I guess I am. I am going to use a couple of Bare Minerals products and this is the um, Ready Shadow, Ready Blush, not Shadow. And it is in the color of the French Kiss. And I'm using a the Real Techniques blush brush for this. I'm just going to put some of that on my cheeks it's funny how on to me on camera this looks a lot more vibrant than it does when I'm looking in my mirror but this is the French kiss I like this color it's really pretty and it actually shows up on my skin and the last thing I'm going to use is a Bare Minerals lip gloss and it is in the color Fruit Cocktail and it's just one of these lip glosses something really neutral here so my lips don't look like I'm lacking oxygen. <laughs> Alright. 
that is it that is the look with the urban decay 2 urban decay i'm sorry naked 2 palette and i want to thank miss bunny rabbit one for we requesting this um tutorial because i don't usually get a chance to pull this one out too often i'm always grabbing the first palette um Thank you for the request. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Bye.